guys, so I already have my eyebrows and my eye makeup done and I'm just gonna be trying out this foundation today. I picked it up in two colors because they didn't have the color that I needed. So I picked up 207 Sand Beige and 210 Classic Tan and I'm gonna mix these two and hopefully it will give me the right color, but I think it will work. I'm just gonna read what it says over here. It says it's up to 24 hour foundation and radiant finish, normal to dry skin. So as you guys know, I do have dry skin and I like to wear foundations that give me a nice healthy glow. I do wear matte foundations at times, but I do prefer more radiant, glowy foundation. I just picked these up yesterday and I've been trying to get my hands on these for the longest time ever since they came out but if you live in Canada then you know it takes some time for them to come here and all that so yeah I've been waiting and I finally got them so I'm really excited to try these out because they say it's glow pro glow so that's really exciting for me I love anything glowy radiant because I have dry skin so yeah, so let's give this a try and see how this works. I'm actually going to be applying this with my Real Technique sponge because that is how I like to apply all my foundations, my concealers. So I thought it would be best to just apply it with whatever I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So off the bat, I can tell that this is more of a lighter consistency like it's thinner and it's not so heavy no the original one is a little bit thicker but this consistency is very light and it's kind of runny okay so i already primed my face as well and i use the smashbox photo finish foundation primer so i use this one right over here and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply the foundation i'm just gonna dot it with my fingers and that pimple that I just covered, it's actually not a pimple, it's a mosquito bite. I don't know how that happened. Got it yesterday. So weird. Um, but yeah, let's see if it covers that. And go ahead and blend it out. I think the color matches fine. Because Classic Tan, the 210 shade, was the darkest shade, so... It's blending really nicely and easily and I already see it's giving me a nice glowy finish so I'm loving this so far already. Um, I'm just gonna bring it down to my neck as well. So even though I let the forehead um, sit for a bit, it didn't like dry really quickly which is good. I like that. And this foundation says 24 hour wear, but of course I'm not going to be wearing it for 24 hours. I don't know who would, but that's okay. I mean, I guess it just says it's really long lasting. But I'm probably going to be wearing it for 5, 6, maybe 7 hours. Um, I'm going to work right after, so we will see how it holds up throughout the day. So once I'm done blending it out, now it's the real test because I want to see if the concealers and the powders and all that if it's going to sit nicely on top of this foundation. That is really how I like to test out my foundations whenever I get a new foundation. I like to test it out and see if my concealers and my powders are setting nicely on top of it. That's how you know it's a really good foundation and if it's going to work for you. So I'm going to use my regular concealers. So first I'm going to color correct just a little bit. If you guys remember when I tried out the Clinique foundation, it did not work for me because my concealers just didn't sit well on top of that foundation and it broke around this area. So I'm just using my Maybelline Fit Me and it covered up the blemishes pretty well so the coverage is good. I don't usually wear all this makeup to work but because I want to test out this foundation, I really want to do kind of, well not a full coverage, but I want to do everything that I can. Okay, so it blended out really nicely, the concealer. Once I'm done that, I'm going to use my NYC Loose Face Powder and just set that. I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit. highlight 
I'm gonna take MAC Soft and Gentle. Next for blush, I'm gonna use Milani Luminoso. I am going to line them with MAC World Lip Liner. It's the new Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Bombshell. It's a pink packaging, it's so cute. And yeah, so you take it out like this and then you got the liquid lipstick right here. Pinky Nude. So yeah, let's see how this is. I actually like this liquid lipstick it's really light the formula is really really light so it doesn't feel like you're really wearing anything on your lips see how it wears throughout the day so this completes my makeup I will check in with you guys after I come back from work and let you know how the makeup lasted throughout the day but so far I'm really really liking this foundation and it just looks very dewy and glowy and it just gives you a natural finish to your face like that and it doesn't make me look cakey or dry because I know the original one I used to love it a lot and it worked great for me in the beginning when I started using it but Throughout, I noticed that it just made my face look a little dry and cakey. So, I don't know, maybe it just didn't work for me afterwards. I don't know. Why. But I think this foundation might be a little bit better for me because I have dry skin. I'm going to work right now and currently it's 2.43 p.m. And once I get back, I will let you guys know how the foundation lasted throughout the day and how I feel about it. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, so I am back from work. I had a little bit of dinner and I really wanted to show you guys how this foundation looks. I absolutely love this foundation. Throughout the day, it just held up so, so nicely. I had so many compliments on my skin today. Throughout the day, that glowiness, that natural finish just stayed. It didn't look cakey, it didn't look dry, and it just, it just held up so, so nicely. I really, really like this foundation, and honestly, I think I'll be using this a lot from now. Even the liquid lipstick, it stayed. Can you see that? I didn't reapply or anything. I applied that one time on camera with you guys. After that, I didn't even touch up. And what I really like about the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick is that you don't get that white rim around the mouth, like inside of the mouth. So I was just gonna show you what time it is, but my phone is dead. But right now it's 10.42 p.m. I'm just looking at my computer. When I applied this foundation, I think it was around 2.30 or 2.45, something like that. So I wore this foundation for about eight hours. I had dinner and everything, so I left it on at that time because I just wanted to see how the liquid lipstick would wear after I ate like my meal and all of that. I really, really like this foundation. It gives you a nice glowy finish, a natural finish and it just looks flawless and airbrushed. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I give it a thumbs up and I recommend it to you guys. So go check it out. Let me know what you think about this foundation. I would love to know. And if you have already tried it, then also let me know what you think about this foundation. Does it work for you or not work for you? Just let me know. I will see you all in the next video. I really hope that this video was helpful.